All right, everyone. So a lot of you complained in the last Panda free antivirus video that uh, I didn't run Panda Cloud Cleaner first, that it's a more advanced scanner and I should have ran it. Well, I didn't because it was realistically a video about Panda free antivirus, not Panda Cloud Cleaner. So I'm going to make a video about Panda Cloud Cleaner. We're going to see if it can do any better than Panda free antivirus. My personal prediction is it's not going to. That is because this virtual machine was created back in April and it is now December. So let's go ahead before this ransomware starts to attack my virtual machine and install this advanced scanner here. So we're going to go ahead and run the installer here. That is a whopping 33 megabytes. So that's pretty good. Uh, as you can see, we are going to install it fairly quick. All right, so we're going to go ahead and launch Panda here. So far, everything has gone very smoothly. Uh, very impressed with the installation. Very easy to understand. All right, so what do we got here? We have some advanced tools up here in which we can kill all processes and uh, unblock files, as well as send a file to Panda for analysis. If we go down here to advanced options, you can see we have what's called a trusted boot. Uh, this is kind of, from what I understand, like a vast boot time scanner, but a little bit more advanced. And it also tells you that, that right down here that's for advanced users realistically only. And uh, we're probably gonna go ahead and jump right into that uh, just because this virtual machine is so infected. All right, uh, then we have an accept and scan button right down here with some uh, additional options. We can just analyze your PC or analyze other elements. So first of all, I really am curious to see if this kill all processes is actually gonna work. So we're gonna do that and click start. And so far I'm not really seeing anything in the way of process killing. Explorer is still open. Let's see, can we get to task manager? Okay, so task manager is still not working. We can still get to explore, so it didn't kill explore.exe. All right, um, so what we're gonna do now is let's go ahead and try this trusted boot here. We're gonna go right into that. Okay, up to three PC reboots might be needed to complete the process. Sure, why not? So we'll click okay. Accept and scan. Okay, so it's apparently doing the setup right here, trusted boot setup. Well, everyone, this does not uh, bode well for Panda Cloud Cleaner so far because it looks as if it's frozen up. Um, can we close it? Close window. No, we can't close it. Oh, here we go. So now that just took a lot longer than you need to. Wow. Uh, the system must be restarted to perform boot time scan. All right, restart now. Let's do this. So apparently he had to install some additional objects in, within the system here uh, in order to perform this boot time scan. It did not appear to be downloading them. Uh, I want that to be noted there. It looked as if they were, must have already been incorporated uh, somewhere within the installation itself. So that's nice that you don't have to re-download or download additional items. So supposedly it's rebooting right now. I'm going to go ahead and let it reboot if anything pops up or when we get into the interface of the boot time scanner, I will come back and we'll take a look at that. So see you in a bit. So it appears as if the PC is frozen. So we're gonna go ahead and have to do a hard reset and hope that the boot time scanner uh, will actually boot up here. So let's see what's going on. All right, everyone, so after I rebooted, I have been presented with this. So it looks like it's doing some sort, of, some sort of a quick scan. So it's probably going through the boot or analyzing the boot that it did now, um, in a sense, finding everything. We'll see in a minute uh, what the results are, if it's gonna have me remove things and then reboot again is what I'm assuming is gonna happen. So then therefore it has a boot that is trusted in its mind, uh, that is a clean boot. So we're gonna go ahead and see, maybe in a little bit here, if it's gonna, it's gonna work fast or slow. And user always told me if you say it's going fast, it's gonna slow down. Maybe user has some uh, some logic All right, there. So it looks like it is now gathering cloud results here. Hopefully this won't take too long, uh, but it could take a few moments of saying, thank you for being so vague. Not even a few seconds or a few minutes. No, no, a few moments. It's like it has to consult the boss or something here. Boss, what do we do with the system? I don't know. Just destroy it. It's toast. That's what I would do. <laughs> if I was consulting, if I was the cloud. 
Yeah, this system is pretty infected. So that's really strictly what the best approach would be. All right, so it looks as if it has found 10 pieces of malware. And then it also has found some unknown files here. 36 of 16 elements cleaned. A 33, how, how do you clean 33 of 16? There's only 16, how can you get 30? I don't understand that. Okay, so let's take a look at what it's found here specifically. A couple of fake AVs, that look, or fake AV. Trash file, suspicious, potential unwanted program. Oh, a broken link. Um, okay. So let's go back. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and continue scan now. Setting up a trusted boot. Okay, so it states that the system must restart now to perform a trusted boot. So we're going to click on restart now and see if the system's actually going to restart this time or if I have to force a restart. Holy shit, it's actually rebooting this time. You know, it only took about three minutes to actually initiate, but uh, nevertheless, it's rebooting finally. So, we'll be back once uh, we get into whatever the next screen is. I assume it's going to be some sort of boot time scanner, or if it's going to restart in a mode that's uh, no, relative to Windows normal mode, and just not allow the malware to run. We will wait and see. So here we go, we are running another scan here, and uh, it's going relatively quick. I don't know if this is just the trust boot scan again um, or if this is actually the scan itself. Uh, look right here it says trusted boot that it's on right now so I don't know if that means that our boot is trusted right now and then we're doing our preliminary scan that we were originally going to do uh, without using the trust boot feature of this program or if um, it essentially is uh, just doing an additional scan to ensure that it has removed all traces of the malware. We will have to wait and see. It's definitely taking a little bit longer, so my guess is it's actually doing the uh, preliminary scan that it was gonna do originally just by hitting the accept and scan button. So when it's done, guys, we will take a look at the results. Well, shit, this is not good. pcloudcleaner.exe has stopped working apparently, and we have to close the program. So, Poor panda. All right, well, let's go ahead and see if we can just do a regular scan and screw the whole boot time scan because I don't think that that's working. So let's open it back up here and see what we can do. If we can do a regular scan and get rid of that stupid boot time scan or if it's going to force me to continue with that crap. So far, it ain't looking good for panda cloud cleaner. Okay, so it looks like it's going to try this again, and I'm not going to try this again. I just want to cancel it, and I want to go with a regular scan. Okay, now this is canceled. Well, I don't want to restart now. Why do I have to always restart? All right, so it's going to restart again. All right, everyone, so let's try to accept and scan just with the regular settings this time and not use that boot time or yeah the, the the bootable scan we're just gonna try to do it this way so it's downloading updates apparently right now that I don't know why it didn't do that earlier but anyways and second of all it's a cloud cleaner scanner dealy I think I thought why is it downloading updates but uh, whatever it's downloading updates and now it's actually scanning woo all right so we're actually getting somewhere this time um, however we actually did pretty much finished the scan last time it just the program crapped out on us so let's hope this time we can actually complete the scan without the program and crashing so once the scan is complete hopefully I'll be back with the results page this time all right everyone so the scan has finished and uh, apparently it's found 28 pieces of malware and potentially wanted programs and 30 unknown files or suspicious policies let's take a look at some of these here and see what it's found so it looks like it found a cookie some Trojans uh, it looks like different threats, so this may actually have done a little bit better. Uh, we do have some potentially unwanted programs right here. Uh, we will go ahead and remove all those. And uh, so, so some suspicious policies here. Well, I'm pretty sure that they're suspicious. Uh, unknown auto run elements, older than five days. 
So we'll remove these two. Um, system cleaning, temporary internet files, history, cookies. Hell, we'll just dump it all. We don't need it. Um, so yeah, it looks like it did a pretty good job uh, if it actually is going to remove all that stuff. Uh, let's take a look at the unknown files here. And uh, Oh, it just brings you to the same spot. I see. Okay, so these are all the same. Um, it just is different buttons, I guess, to get you. I don't know. That's kind of useless if you ask me. Um, and plus, they should actually bring you to the right section for system cleaning instead of me having to scroll down. But anyways. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. we got everything selected here. 703 of 703 elements are selected. And I understand that. Now, before when I kind of had this on here, I was a little bit confused of how the different numbers were. Um, I guess that was just me being me. So anyways, let's go ahead and click on clean here. And we're going to go ahead and see how well it can uh, clean the system. So it's applying disinfection. Maybe you could have chosen a little bit better wording there. But uh, applying disinfection it is. When this is all done, guys, we're going to hopefully be back and we'll see the system nice and clean. And you can already see it's going hard at work. Uh, definitely removing a lot in the way of the stuff on here. Uh, so maybe the techies uh, have had... Uh, a point here and actually the panda will do a little bit better so I'll let it do its thing when it's done I'll check out the results so apparently it wants me to reboot now which is to be understood uh, it doesn't look like it removed a lot in the way of malware uh, a couple icons have disappeared but so far you can see a lot left in the system maybe it's gonna remove it at reboot so we'll give it a chance we're gonna click on restart now and uh, hopefully the system will reboot fairly quickly and we'll be back and um, I'm gonna then run a scan with hitman pro and see what it found on this system. So, see you in a bit. All right, so Hitman Pro is currently scanning. However, I don't need it to finish the scan to call this test right here. Uh, after rebooting the system, as you can see, a lot of the malware visually is still left on the desktop, adware included. So overall, it doesn't look like it performed much better, maybe a little bit better, but overall, it's not much better than the panda free antivirus that we tested earlier uh, which is quite disappointing I really had high hopes for panda uh, I usually perform very well in past tests uh, but unfortunately in this one it, it really just did not do well at removing things uh, it did good at blocking things but just not at removal and the removal tool in general as well just is having an issue here so uh, as you can see there is a lot of malware on this system I and mean, we have viruses we have worms we have trojans there is just a slew of everything on here so and a lot of it is services and things as well that are in very serious places uh, that you definitely do not want malware to be and most of them are auto run entries uh, as well granted a lot of them aren't running currently because other malware is blocking them but to my point these are some very serious pieces of malware that panda should should be able to detect uh, in addition to that, we do have malware, and this, this system right now is extremely slow because it's trying to scan, and then we got other malware running in the background. Um, we got these two pieces of malware right here, uh, which are detected by 51 out of 57 uh, vendors from Virus Total. Uh, now, I tried to open it up, but it, it's not opening up. Um, in addition to that, my Internet Explorer browser is also broken. I can no longer get to the Internet using Internet Explorer alone. I have to go into the in-private browsing in order to use it. So somewhere along the line, I believe it's an add-on that is causing an issue or Panda tried to remove an add-on uh, and, and didn't remove it fully and is getting hung up now in Internet Explorer causing it to just hang. It doesn't, uh, it'll open up and obviously I'm doing so much stuff right now it can't really, there we go. Um, it'll essentially open a tab and this is about as far as it'll get right here. It'll just sit here now and do absolutely nothing you have to actually right click and go to in private browsing uh, for it to load so that's quite disappointing right there and because in fact it was working before i had to download all this stuff and i used internet explorer to do so so that's really kind of unfortunate the fact that it made the problem worse it didn't make it better it's supposed to make the problem better and it didn't uh, so with that said here um close that out it's not going to work what is my bottom line now with Panda Cloud Cleaner? Well, it, I can't say I'd recommend it as a one of my main tools to clean up an infected PC. I mean, clearly you can see there is uh, malware here. We got some packed malware right here. 
that is unknown, but it's definitely a piece of malware. That is not the legitimate Skype.exe, I guarantee you that. Uh, and then we also have malware, which is spawning SVC host processes here um, in different tasks, as well as some consoles here. So realistically, this system is very highly infected still. It really didn't even put a dent in the malware. So overall, I cannot recommend using Panda. I, to me, I really wouldn't even put it in my toolkit. I would use it as an absolute last resort if there's a piece of malware that I just cannot remove. Uh, I'd say, well, might as well just throw Panda at it, you know, see if see if that'll work. It, it's just kind of like your, your last trick out of your bag type of thing uh, before you just end up reformatting the hard drive. So that's where, I'm, that's where I stand with it. As a removal tool, Panda is just awful. It is horrible. As you can see, the system is very infected cannot recommend it at all. In fact, I would probably have to recommend staying away from it, uh, just from what I'm seeing here. Now, if anyone else wants to kind of retest it and, and provide me the different result that with legitimate malware and, and, and things like that, well, go right ahead. But these are the results I've gotten uh, from my tests. This is now a second result from a second program provided by Panda using the same malware on this system. As you can see, it's confirmed malware. Hitman Pro is detecting it as viruses. You know, we click on it, and you can see it's Bitdefender and Kaspersky have both detect detecting um, threats. And you can see this is actually, I believe, the same, all part of the same threat here. Yeah, there's a different one right there uh, that's detected by Bitdefender only. Uh, so definitely there is a lot in the way of malware on this system. So really expected a lot more from Panda is my bottom line. So I think that's going to be it, guys, for this review. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope this kind of clears up a little bit of the uh, Panda free antivirus review in the sense of the removal test, most, mostly in that area. And uh, kind of shows you that it's just not as all cracked up to be. I mean, I'm sorry for the, the Panda fans out there, but it, it just didn't perform that well. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy the rest of the reviews. Uh, we're going to be getting a, you should be seeing pretty soon a Techie versus user. I don't know if this is gonna. If I don't know if I'm gonna get this video uploaded before, but we're gonna have a techie versus user and a free, or a fake tech support video coming out. So stay tuned for that. That'll be released pretty soon. So see you in the next video.